Hello and welcome. So Michael here and I'll be your guide for all things EFT. So today let's do a tap on see if we can reduce the stress and the strain around this working from home, right? getting the balance of work life, personal life, setting boundaries, finding motivation, if, uh, missing social interaction that can come from working from home. So let's do a good tap on this, see if we can clear some of the junk around this uh, so that yeah, we can have more peace and have more clarity when we're dealing with this subject. Okay, so the first thing to do is just to tap on the side of the hand. <clears throat> Take a breath. And now I want you just to take a moment to tune into the struggles you may be having around working from home, working by yourself. Feeling maybe disconnected from others. Lack of motivation, lack of clarity about what to do. And the struggle of keeping boundaries with your time as well, right? So knowing when to work, knowing when to walk away. So take a deep breath again. Go repeat these words if it feels okay. So even though I'm struggling with this work from home situation, I'm finding it difficult to find balance. I'm finding it difficult to be motivated. And it feels like I'm burning out sometimes. I accept the way that I feel and I fully and deeply accept myself anyway. So even though working from home is very challenging, and it stresses me out, And it feels like I'm not getting anywhere. And sometimes I find it hard to focus and get things done. And then I get annoyed with myself. And then I get, and then I feel guilty for not doing what I should be doing. So I accept the way that I feel and I fully and deeply accept myself anyway. Take a breath. <sighs> Up here, so working from home is very challenging. And that's okay. Good, inside. It feels like I'm not getting anywhere. It's hard to get motivated. And even when I get motivated sometimes, it's hard to stay motivated. Tap under the eye. And then I feel defeated, exhausted, and that's okay. Good. Up under the nose. So even though I feel these things, I fully and deeply accept myself anyway. 
good, tap on the chin. And sometimes I find it hard to manage work life and personal life. because they're intertwined now. And I miss the structure of work life. Tap on the chest. And that's okay. The lack of structure is causing me stress. The lack of structure does cause me anxiety. And that's okay. I can see that now. Deep breath. Good. Tap under the arm. And I miss the social interactions from not working for I feel isolated, I feel disconnected, sometimes I feel lost, and that's okay. It's okay to take a deep breath and let some of these feelings go, top of the head. All this pressure, all this effort, all this loneliness and lack of motivation. It's okay to feel this way and I'm open to letting it go inside the eye. I'm open to letting go of all this pressure. I release and let go of all this pressure. Under the eye, take a breath. I choose to let go of all this pressure. And I allow myself to take a, take a moment nose so that I can see more clearly Good. Tap on the chin. and maybe it's time to create a plan a plan that I can work with that's realistic, that is clear, so that I know what I'm doing with myself. <laughs> Tap on the chest. And even if I feel unmotivated sometimes or unclear, that's okay. I don't have to beat myself up about it. I can just let it come and let it go. So I'm opening myself to the possibility <clears throat> of living in a more balanced, harmonic way. with more patience, with more acceptance, and with more focus. And I fully and deeply accept myself no matter what. Take a deep breath. Relax the tap, just take a break. Have a sip of water. 
And then just notice how you feel about it now. Just taking the expectation, the pressure off yourself is often enough just to get a bit more clarity about what to do or how to better manage things, right? Because when we're stressed from the pressure, it's literally hard to see options. So this tapping is a way to take the pressure off, relax the stress, so then you can see things more clearly and then work from that place. So if you have any uh, comments or suggestions or other subjects you want me to cover, please leave comments below. I'd love to hear them and I read all of them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.